Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Civilization Effect, the Reaper Harvest. The Drell and the Geth are the only two races left, and they only have two cities left each. And Karina could go down very shortly. Yes! Let nuclear fire obliterate you until nothing is left but ash and dust and crumpled remains of innocent drill people. The Reapers will show no mercy. You will die. Farewell, Karina. May your rubble stand as a testament to the Reaper's power. There will be nothing left. And the last one saved for the capital. The, the Drell literally have nothing left but Rakana and the possibility of maybe a couple of ships just floating around in the water somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried cranking out a settler. So we'll need to get the troops moving in quickly. Just in case. But now we can start making our move on the Geth. Soon. <laughs> What's this? Oh, for the love of their building stealth bombers now. Well, it'll keep them occupied at least. I'm not really concerned about those rocket artillery. I built them with the intention of taking out cities, but the nuclear bomb, but the nuclear missiles and the st stealth bombers are doing a perfectly adequate job of that. And now we can adopt Klaus Witch's legacy. I'm not going to finish on her. Or Claus Witch, Claus Witch's legacy. Oh yeah. So where is that? Interception. Oh, Reef Army. Wait, is it the turn after? Oh yeah. But it will take. I'm pretty sure it's going to take less than 50 turns to. Perfect. You can have a submarine as the spotter. Oh, well, the missile cruisers have their fun. Have at it, boys. I don't think they'll be able to shoot from over there. No. Consensus won't last long after that kind of bombardment, so we could try and actually deploy these guys over there next turn. That would certainly be an interesting strategy, I like it. For the heck of it, let's build bomb shelters. And all that kind of stuff. Build all the basic buildings because these cities are so far behind the Reapers. More testament to our strength. Now then. That's right. Send them straight in. Look at that. We can see the city. Now the Harbinger squad. These will be the guys that... It's only fitting that the Harbinger squad is the one that takes out the drill. They can't actually attack, so they can't take this one. Because... Ah, 
I don't need you, so... Die. Just fire at that so you can do something productive. There we go. Can you actually reach them? Rakana. Oh, you're one tile away. Right then. Rebase to server hub t two. Right, you guys can move in as more support. This session will probably be over by four those workers finish that cross continental railway. Oh, more uranium. No, we've already had that. We might as well send them all to server hubs too, since. Is there an airport there? Yeah. So we can have 10 aircraft. And the rest can go to Palavan. It is possible we could end this either this episode or within the next. And if that is so, well then. Come on. As long as they don't start deploying assassins, that is a possibility. Because they could take out those XCOM units. <laughs> We're actually getting future tech now. After it went into the minuses for whatever reason. Right, you guys can continue bombing the living crap out of the consensus. You can get out of there. The Reaper Bombers can have their way with Rakana. I'm tired of choosing production. I don't need any more military units. That's good, all of you. Just go to wealth. You have no further purpose anymore. You're done. You know what? You can go straight to the consensus. These guys can stay there to prepare for server hub 1. You guys can move in on Rakana, though that might not be necessary. Because this... No, it's not necessary. This is the end of the drill. Now them. They're both harbinger squads. But Yeah, they're both the same. This one can have the honor. I think it was the first into battle. Fare thee well, Fane, you have died again. Galahara, mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask for forgiveness. <laughs> and now... I might as well move these guys in so... <laughs> they can't even say it!
Now you can see it. What have they got then? Ah, these are their only two stealth bombers. They're okay in that regard. You have practically no further use. Alright, Reaper Bar. Have your fun with Sir. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's strong. Right. You can avoid doing that again. Damn it, that hurts. Keep doing it, though. These Reaper Bombers are the best we've got. They can take it. And Server Hub 2 will fall because, ironically enough, these rocket artilleries, if they survive, will be instrumental in actually finishing the very last part of the game. Dozens of turns after they were actually built. Or not. Well, you know what? I'll have them shoot it anyway, just for the heck of it. Right, come on. This will be the next and possibly final turn. Yeah, this will. Unless they somehow happen to blow up all my ships. Nah, that won't happen. They're only. Don't die! Bollocks. Ah, it died just before we claimed victory. Okay. I don't care about bleeding great engineers. It's over. Right, we've got units outside both of the remaining enemy cities. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time that we finish this. Reaper units commence the bombardment. I'm assuming direct control. Destroy them! Victory is ours! But you have survived and emerged victorious. The world will long remember your glorious triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, it is over. The Reaper Harvest has succeeded. The Asari, the Quarians, the Alliance, the Salarians, the Krogan, the Turians, the Drell, and the Geth. 
major races of Mass Effect. Maybe not all of them, but the major ones. We Let's watch. So here we are, quickly founding our cities, and now I'm going to begin my conquest right now. Moving down to the Quarians, taking them. Then moving all the way over to the Alliance, but taking that swiftly. The long march to Sakesh, destroying that city. Now the Krogan are falling, and then the Turians, and then the... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So... Um... There we are. It's over. The Reaper Harvest annihilated every race on the map, apart from ourselves. So, what will happen next? Well, I wouldn't object to the idea of maybe doing more playthroughs as each individual race, because I've done the Trilogy as the Alliance, I've done the Quarry and Chronicles, I've done the Reaper Harvest, so maybe I could do maybe the Krogan Conquest, the Turian Tales, the Asari Ascension, Path, uh, Path of the Protheans, or anything along those lines. Still, that'll be for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed. I certainly have enjoyed. And I hope you forgive me for the large hiatuses that occurred in the middle or at the final parts of these series. But, you know why. I hope to see you all in whatever I happen to do next.